If you are looking for some fun stuff to do at home this spring break, one local woman is here to help, and she has learned a lot and learned a lot. Mother of four boys, including a set of triplets, so much so that she has written multiple books, and she's become basically a pro at thinking outside the box and finding fun and humor during all of the ups and downs that has been going on. Christine Cuppert, author of Mischief Makers, joins us to help create an at-home spring break camp and tell us what it's like raising four boys. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's craziness raising four boys. It's calm right now, but I assure you in an hour when they get home from school, it's going to be like four Tasmanian devils running around back here. We raised two of them. They're now 18, 16, but how old are yours? Mine are seven, 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 and almost 11, 10. So they're at that perfect age for making mischief and having a lot of fun uh, doing projects and, you know, all sorts of shenanigans. But as we were talking about being the mom of four boys, they can just make messes everywhere. And then they go, Mommy, you're beautiful. I love you, right? So it makes it all better. Absolutely. All right. Let's talk about the, these camps for spring break. Uh, every camp has certain things. First thing, it has to be fun. And what is one of the fun activities that you have for us? A drive-in movie? Yes. So I don't know about you, but my kids desperately miss going to the movies. It was like a big thing we did together as a family. So we designed our own at-home drive-in. You can do it outside if you have a big projector screen, or you can just do it inside your home in front of the TV. We got, and everything I have today is very inexpensive to do. We got these $3 large moving boxes and basically folded them in on themselves and turned them into their very own drive-in movie box cars with license plates wheels, windshield wipers, um, you know, the works. They even have little steering wheels made out of paper plates and toilet paper holders. Um, and so they created these and they sat in them to watch their movie. And to complement it, we did a popcorn bar where we had a big pool of popcorn and I put together, you know, different candies that they like and they were able to make their own assortment to go along with the movie. And they absolutely loved it. I'm pretty sure I got hugs, kisses, and you're the best mom ever the night that we did that one. Yeah, that, that's a fantastic idea. The great old, good old cardboard box. Nothing better than that, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they even took the leftover ones and were like, we're going to make time machines. I mean, give a kid a box and some glue and some paper and the possibilities are endless. Amen to that. All right, you've been a journalist for 18 years and you decided to write a book and it's called Mischief Makers. I love the title. Tell us about that. You know, I, I did a book for moms last year, kind of about my side of the story of, of carrying triplets and what it's like, the chaos of having four little boys. And um, my boys loved the process and they thought it was so cool that I had finally taken my work and put it into a book that we decided let's do something together, something that tells their story again, but for their friends and their peers. And so we came up together with the idea of Mischief Makers and it's just been an absolute blast. We, you know, what better test audience than to have four little boys at home uh, to bounce ideas off of while writing and editing. And it's, you know, it's funny. Our, our pocket beagle is in it. It's hilarious, but it also has character building lessons like honesty, how to be a good friend. So it's a, it's a nice combination of uh, enrichment, but also laughter. Oh, that's fantastic with the, the character and the honesty and the character building lessons, like you said. And also, it's it's really timely, especially in the past year, right? Yeah, you know, this past year, kids have been stuck inside. They've been on screens. I know mine have, especially in the early end of this when we were all virtual learning and sports were canceled and activities were canceled. And I just think, you know, springtime is coming. It's a really great time to remind ourselves kids need to be kids. They need to be climbing trees. They need to be riding bikes. They need to be getting into good mischief. They need to be using their imagination and their creativity, like we talked about. Give them a cardboard box. Take the iPad away. Give them a cardboard box and just let their imagination go wild. And then also, like you said, getting out and climbing trees and getting that fresh air and turning a, a hike then into an art project? Yeah, so I always say things that I try to get my kids to do, like physical fitness or hiking, um, they'll whine about it and complain they're tired they don't want to do it but if you turn it into something fun and and make it engaging they enjoy it so for hiking i tell them we're going on a treasure hunt and they collect little things along the way 
Uh, and then when we get home, you know, I'll get these little frames like you see for a dollar and a hot glue gun out and they can create a frame out of the things they found and put a picture in it from one of their hikes. We also do um, scavenger hunts where I just come up with clues and each scavenger hunt clue involves something physical. So for example, one of them is, you know, you're so smart, you found this clue with no help from mom. Now do 20 squats with balancing a banana on your bum. And they have to take this banana, you know, put it on their bum and try to do their squats. And they, they're having so much fun and it's so comical, they don't even realize they're doing exercise. Um, and it just, you know, our house is all about laughter. You have to have a sense of humor raising four little boys because it's, you know, chaos every day. And so doing little things like this not only keeps them laughing, but keeps me laughing and keeps me in the right mindset with all the nuts that go, you know, the nuttiness that goes on around here. And, and it's also that, that great bonding with you and your boys. And I know a lot of parents right now are watching going, oh, wow, I'd love to be able to do that. And, and all these great ideas. And they can get more too, right? The, the, there's a book club? Yes, there's a book club. So we just launched this. We had a little boy, uh, his mom sent me a video of him reading The Mischief Makers. And in the book, um, the triplets design a bone launcher for their dog. And what happens is the bone launcher plan goes awry and they break a window. This little boy was so excited after reading the book he started trying to design his own bone launcher. And we got this idea of, you know, we can keep this enrichment going all year long. Why not put out a monthly newsletter where the kids get pranks, jokes, um, fun, gooey, dirty recipes, um, scavenger hunt ideas, just all kinds of added content to help them continue to be curious and use their imagination. So people can, can sign up for uh, the book club on the website, mischiefmakerbooks.com. Christine, this has just been so much fun. I, 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 it takes me outside and almost makes my want my kids to kind of be ten and seven again uh, to do all this great, all these great activities. So, uh, if you'd like more information, thank you so very much, by the way, for spending some time. And thank good you luck for those, me. those four precious boys of yours. For more. For more information on Christine Cuthbert and her book, The Mischief Makers, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Well, lots of great